We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where the living's easy and the sushi is called bait. I thought you said her name was Susie. Uh, but you're right, she did look a little older. 15 at least. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot He's supercharged. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. The 20. He's at the 10. He scores! comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey. Less than a wipe with a headache. Third down and six. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. The defender says, it's mine, and he comes away with the pick. What is this, Andy's wrestling? Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. I think the defenders are scared of this guy. Oh, you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a sonic blaster. Caught for the first down. Totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. But, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Oh, you. Oh, you. 
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Second down and a lot. Hot one, hot two. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know what. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three rims, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. Third down and nine. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And he scores! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. I know I just said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And there's another pick. And this quarterback. Oh, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. First and ten. Second down in a very long. He's not going. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First 
first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. This guy's a brick shithouse. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. He is fighting for every yard. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot that ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Oh, oh, oh. That gets me every time. I get the ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. First down in a mile. And he's off to the right. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That yeah, was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Third and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 He got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. The kick is good. As expected. Those are pretty... The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo. Is she going to dry clean that before she gives it back to me? And the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And they'll line up for the punt here. And they fake the punt trying to catch the defense napping. Some kid in his bed wearing nothing but underwear made a really stupid call right there, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should get out of the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of mutant, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. And 
it's first and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outman. And it's first and ten. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Third and two. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this cube. And he just slipped away like a great pig. Pow! With the brain scrambler. <laughs> <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. point but this guy could blow it it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the kicker grin uh, this guy in the field oh i thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker Just call him Cap'n Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Oh, it's a play, but to blow up on a play? Then it's the team. I should learn from this. He's dead, you moron. And it's first and ten. Watch out, the ball carriers brought a chainsaw to the field. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra money. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the gas 
Christ! What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, uh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Hot, hot one. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roid Rage and have your revenge. He, oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. He's at the 40. That is such bullshit. This game is fucking... Boom, down, down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. You're telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Away. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. You know, in the pre-apocalypse, they would flag this kind of thing. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. And that's another turnover for the defense. misery and says who's next two-point plays are high risk high reward and it just didn't pay off and now they're both screwed and stupid the teams are lined up for the kickoff Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. They stumped the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hex 
hatchets and wives, Hadrian? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. Yeah, that's a lot of balls, Grim. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to... And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Hey, oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> he had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And defense calls its final timeout. Good. I gotta run to the John. That means I gotta deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his lifesavers, dirty comb, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a crap. I'll get ready for a date. Well, oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Offense lost another running back and only to remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if they rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Cheap shot. <laughs> the 
That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And that'll be a first down. You know, breaks a lot of. Oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Rips away from that tackle. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more reception. Oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect him not to. Oh, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. Yeah, but... Second down, the side defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Point range. Because if you can't answer your at this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He's at the 40. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. The offense has only two linemen left on the offense and will need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Hey, don't say me short people, Grim. And at least they don't look down on people. 
And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Break your mother's back. Step out of mine? Uh, I forgot how the rest of that goes. Yeah, I don't know either, but scratch another player from the roster because he stepped out of mine and exploded his spine. Touchdown! I've never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. I like this. They're going for two. Consider running the ball more. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. First down and five. is down to their last surviving lineman. He's all alone out there, and when he dies, they'll have to forfeit. I know what it's like to be alone. I went to group therapy once to deal with loneliness, but no one else showed up. Second down and five. Don't 
try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? And the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Ah, that's not fair. So much you call a penalty on this rep. Yeah, the death penalty. Pick a bite of nuts. Second down, and it's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how to throw interceptions, but and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's at the 30. Great shoestring tackle. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. First and four. Check it off my Dead Mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And that'll be second down and four. <laughs> Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Cigar. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. It's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. And it's first and ten. Pick six, but dropped the interception. Yeah, that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. And it's first and ten. Five-yard 
gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time on this. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. First and eight to go. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those power to win. What the high cool. <laughs> you know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. It sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And, oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico. Forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. after that catch and score. Nicely done! Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just... The kick is good! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down in a mile. At this point, with multiple interceptions, he could, he could go all the way. The 20. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. It's a touchdown! What in the fuck am I watching? Hey, wasn't this guy in a Lost Wages all-male dance review before he signed? Yeah, they were called Nuts and Bolts. His stage name was Vice Grip. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The Atlanta Vultures got their butts whipped and lose by forfeit. 
They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Oh, gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Dijon mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.